Hello you magical mongoose and welcome to my first impressions of Awakened Dark Space, a first person horror game with hopefully some puzzle solving elements which I can sink my teeth into. Now let's go, new game. This is my story, how everything began. I'm ready. Now tedious apparently from Final Fantasy X. Prologue. It's strange that after all that time, I still remember every moment of my life back then. Funny considering how meaningless it was. The story of my past. I was lost in a loop of nothingness. Days passed and most of them felt exactly the same. Nothing exciting ever happened. I was just an ordinary student at a German university. Endless boredom. But sometimes one small ripple can start a wave of change. It was a Monday, and it started just like any other day. Or any other ordinary day, so it thought. And then, a girl approached me! One thing to note is, if you are going to do this, which is fine, not a problem, at least have that background move. You know, just so it's something else to look at instead of literally just a static screen. I mean, it does look like it's supposed to be a uh, background or a video anyway. Um, so, you know, that's a bit odd. She wanted to know if this is the programming class. Nothing special, you may wonder, but in my world, something like this usually never happened. So he just replied, I guess. <laughs> I guess it could be the programming class. Gotta play it cool, obviously. Having a bad day, she asked. I was just in my head and a bit surprised that you approached me of all people. Despite the bad start, we kept chatting and there was something about her that drew me in. She said that she is an exchange student from England, and a different country can be quite overwhelming. I couldn't really relate. I've never been anywhere, but I wanted to help her. So this was the day I met Sarah. I've just been looking for quite a while now. And still don't know why I'm exactly doing this. Speak up, pal. Speak up. Hold on. Alright, so, audio. We need to fix this. That needs to go down a lot. Voice can stay where it is. Uh, oh, unless he's player volume. Uh, music maybe go down too. Sound effects down, possibly. Ambient sound is still quite high. It's fine. A little bit more. Okay. Probably good. Probably good. Whoa! Uh, Nelly! I do know for a fact that the mouse sensitivity is at its lowest. I have to meet up with Sarah. You do have to meet up with Sarah. Okay. Is there, is there no sprint? Is there really no sprint? We've got a crouch. But no sprint. Well. Well. Ah, oh, this sucks. This sucks. No idea why we are not going together. You only said find a room and there is something for me. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do voice acting, which I hope you do, that's Sounds fine. The trash here. Uh, try and work it out so you don't have to whisper into your microphone. So, let's keep going. F to use. I like how it's just this little bit. What is that? Don't know. Oh no, obviously we've got the shovel, but it's just this thing, which apparently we can use. Okay. A crossword. Hmm. This might be the crossword she mentioned in the note she gave me. Oh my god, that's tiny. What the hell? Why'd you have to have writing that small? Uh, there is an old ruin in these woods. I'll wait there for you. Let's see if you can find it and I might have something for you. When you come to a crossroad now and pass, take a right. From there on, it is going to get a bit more bumpy, but I'm sure you can manage. Okay. My instinct seemed to be correct. Okay. 
there was something about her that was just fascinating, like someone who has a lot of secrets, I guess. But maybe that is why I liked her. Mysterious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a bit needless, really, isn't it? Uh, no matter what it was, I didn't really care at that time. Weeks later. We are both what most would call a weirdo or strange, but as weird as the world is, it was working for us. Getting closer. Getting to know someone can be exciting but also scary. Opening up to someone and letting them into your mind, it not just makes you vulnerable, but it at the same time shows you your own insecurities. Life can be scary. She was really spontaneous, quirky, and took life day by day. Not always easy when you are more deliberate and put a lot of thought into things before doing anything. But it somehow worked and there was nothing normal about our dates, even though we never actually called them that. Abandoned at lost places. Oh. Here we go. It's getting late. I need to find this damn place. Well, that's what she meant by getting more bumpy, I guess. Oh, it's not getting any easier. I uh, didn't actually oh. matter to go prime, we could just uh, slam our head through it, not a problem. Uh, I hope it is close by. Oh shit. I really wish uh, we could, you know, um, run or jog slightly. This is a terrible introduction to a game. I had no idea what this book was about. She didn't tell me much, but she did once mention that she likes to explore. I know you're trying to add like dialogue and stuff, but the woman. this <laughs> is not the way to I do it. I finally found it. Because literally you're just walking <laughs> really slowly for a minute and then we're going back into these. Um, not even multiple choice dialogue options. Exploring these places is not well received, which is understandable, but wouldn't really stop us together. We enjoyed exploring these old and calm places, or sometimes we were just sitting atop a roof looking into the sky, making up stories of what might be out there. There was nothing better. Happiness. Before I met her, life were, felt mostly meaningless. Everything goes by so fast. This is why we are doing this, to cherish these small moments, Sarah said. I was slowly starting to realise how impactful her view of the world was to me, living in the moment. Sarah? Where is she? I thought we were supposed to meet her. I'm not going to examine the graves, no. It took me ages to get here. Uh, you once I mentioned thought. that one day I you will find a treasure. Otherwise I literally would rotate. No. treasure? She remembered me saying that. She so did. Have you got a flashlight, sir? Here we go. Drag. Oh, okay. Weird. A gold coin. It looks quite old. Nothing I've ever seen before. Where did she get that? But why? Why wouldn't you? Uh, why don't you put it in your pocket? <laughs> I always had a hard time feeling really happy about anything really, and especially showing that. But that day with her was one of the best days. In general, the time with her was special. She was like a gate into a different world, believing in the wonders of the world, making it seem like magic. Codex. We came up with a codex. When we explore, we would never destroy or take anything with us. We just enjoy the moment. As great as these moments were, what we did had its own challenges. There was this one night, hunted. We should go. Just a little bit longer, please, she said. I knew it was a bad idea, but I couldn't say no to her. And then we heard screams. Someone was coming. It was either run or hide. And then there was a shot. Hurt. We ran as fast as we could. After some time, we stopped, and I noticed she was bleeding. Her left arm was hit. It was only a graze, but still, it could have been worse. We later had an argument. Our first. Months passed. Been almost a year, she said. 
We spent basically every day together, but soon the day would come where we'd have to make a decision. Her year was almost over. Time is running out. I was truly happy for the first time in my life, but nothing lasts forever, or even for long at all. Differences. I didn't know if it was the little time we had left that pressured us, but we were arguing a lot. Over time, more and more differences between us manifested. Struggle. As close as we were in some things, in others it felt like we were worlds apart. She is really smart, but she often got completely lost in the moment, and bringing heat on us. <laughs> Drifting apart. So I just giggled, was like, oh, it's the heat, oh no, it's the fuzz. You are always so cold, she said. I know that my reactions sometimes seem cold, and I often overanalyze situations rather than just being understanding. The good? Uh, sorry, I'm good? In areas. I wonder if we can click it. I know it's just a, a font thing. Uh, in areas where you can apply logic, but in terms of expressing emotions, I always have problems. But that didn't uh, doesn't mean I don't have any, which I didn't say. Overwhelmed. We talked about it, and it got better, and then it just started all over. This look, seeing disappointment in her eyes. It's not like I didn't understand her, and how it might be for others, but at the same time, I didn't know how to change, or if I could ever change, if I would ever be enough. Life hits hard. There are bad days. Then there are legendary bad days. This was shaping up to be one of those. Loss. That day, Sarah got a call from her dad. Your mum is sick. So of course she wanted to go back to England to support her family and I wanted to go with her. I have to do this alone. And one of these sentences no one wants to hear. I need time. Alone. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was lost, confused, just an indescribable cocktail of feelings. They say time heals everything, but it didn't feel that way. It felt like I failed. Back to normal. Everything went back. Uh, everything went back to as it was before I met her. Till the day I suddenly got this letter. It's been months since I heard from her and I was angry. I, I just didn't know what to do with it. If I wasn't so stubborn, then maybe. Awakened. This was the last time I heard from her. Uncertainty. Bum bum bum. Okay, we've got a flashlight. We still can't sprint. I should take a minute and read the letter once more. Perhaps I noticed something. Hey, Michael. Headlamp, Sarah's coin. After all what happened. I wanted to call you, but... I don't know. For quite a while, I can't get over there. how small the font is. It's crazy. But there, there is no zoom. I'm, I'm pressing loads of buttons. Maybe it's plus or minus. No. There's literally no zoom. I'm sorry. In love, Sarah. It says at the end there. Oh, okay. So this is it. Press the rewards. Let's see if I can find any clue about Sarah. It's, seriously though, is there actually no sprint? There isn't. It's... Wait, no, it said run. Wait, 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 I saw it, it said run. What's run? It is left shift. It's not, it's not. I've been trying. It said right shift. No. We won't take responsibility and assume no liability for accidents. No accidents allowed. Uh, read. Okay, just some thoughts. Gotcha. No secrets. Whoa. Was a year ago. What happened? Got to turn this uh, sensitivity down. I have to like the lowest my mouse can go. Ah. Oh. At least there's still some light. So there was someone going to us through this place, and it was either shut down or abandoned about a year ago. It's strange that I wasn't able to get much info beforehand from anyone. No one really wanted to tell me much about this place, besides that I should stay away. It was almost like they are afraid. There's so much talking in this game, so far, and not much experiencing. 
The area is named after the Lord who reigned the lands in the 11th century. I mean, it looks fine enough. It's I'll say that. Since I've been to a forest. Not since. Especially at night. Even for us, this wasn't super common. I still can't sprint, guys. Maybe if I go prone and then stand back up. No, I tried. I'm trying. I hate forced walking in video games. This actually a fence was barbed wire. Someone really doesn't want people to be here. But that means this place must have been closed down then. But why? Fuck. What do I do now? Someone was here recently, so there must be another way. Not that way. Oh my god, please let me sprint. Oh, is it that one? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know how much I can handle, guys. Life's too short. Life is too short to be walking unbelievably slowly in a video game. I don't get it. Who even walks this slowly in real life? A small pass. Spiky I thing. What have I heard came from here? What is this? And why is this here? A hole. This is what people get through. There's a hole. Oh, this hole. That hole. Okay. Still can't sprint. I'm trying to uh, use my mind powers to get this guy to sprint. Not with the symbols, but are those satanic? I really hope there's what symbols? Kind what the things that we passed by? Or are you just making up symbols? Oh, you've got the best eyes ever. Look how open the space is, and we're still not allowed to sprint. It's got to be a bug or something, right? This can't be the intended design. Castle. The tower. Old it scout tower. The world. So uh -huh. long ago, it may have functioned as a checkpoint. I guess I've got to go this way. Looks like late medieval age. How do you know? The flashlight's gone off. I don't even know how the flashlight's gone off. That you're pressing every button to see if there's a flashlight button. So not only can we not sprint, we can't use our flashlight anymore. How can you possibly think this is a good idea when you're making this game? How can you think this is a good idea? No sane person would be like, yes, this is what people want to play video games for. Is to listen to a guy who's mumbling in his microphone with voiceovers and not actually play a video game. Like, you can't even sprint or anything. It's like a jump. It's been weeks since I got the letter from her. We thing. know. I didn't even read it. We've already said yeah. this. I was so angry and annoyed that she just left. The only thing I know is that was where she went to and didn't come back from. I know. So 
Shit, you might very well be. Might very well be dead. Right click slows you down even more, by the way, just in case you really wanted to slow down even further. There's the moon. <sighs> Fuck it. Whatever happens, I might be the last hope. You wanna seem to care, but I do. I know. I know. If only you had the sense of urgency to be able to run to try and save her. What? The game is just closed. I don't think I triggered anything. Fuck. What is this place? Funny you had some Where kind of urgency in your voice. They are everywhere. I mean, sure, it's probably the developer's voice, right? But again, it's not difficult. Pick like an early time of day and talk at a normal volume into your microphone when you record it. Amplify it, a bit of noise gate, a bit of noise reduction, you're fine. But no, instead of just mumbling the entire time, even when you're supposed to be startled. Like, how am I even supposed to be able to see when I've got no flashlights anymore? Ah. <sighs> Flashlight mode is mouse right, which actually slows you down. That doesn't bring a flashlight out. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This this is just, it's just too much. It's too much for me. Like there's way too many things wrong with this game, and we couldn't even get to it. We couldn't even get to the actual main bulk of the game. We just had a guy mumble to us the entire time and just look at dialogue and walk incredibly slowly. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I am out of here and I'm going to go do something fun with my life like watch paint dry and that includes me going to the shop to buy the paint just to then put it on my wall and watch it dry. Bye for now and I will see you in the next video.